but seeing her 10% is under client purchase items, uh, window treatments, artwork, and accessories, I think. So only those three up. Those three. Right. So there's no 10% on, on furniture. No, 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 no. Thank you. Okay. And um, yeah, so all of this you know, was just provided in one spreadsheet so we could see everything that's falling under that line item. And just to add, we are well below the budget in that line item, you know, and saving money. So. Do we want to further look at that budget before we make a motion to accept exactly? I want to look further at it. Yeah, what would be the deadline on this contract? Um, you know, I don't think we're up against a hard deadline here, but I think they do need to get moving shortly mm -hmm. on it. If it would next week be all right? I think next week would be okay. Okay, next week we will vote on the furnishing contract. So if we have any questions, let's bring them up and get the answers to them. And we'll look at the final figure for executive furnishing. And then we'll also next week hopefully um, approve the bed situation, okay? So if you can follow up on any other company that you can think of. I, I, think, I think we have a total of three companies all stating free freight, free installation. So I want to, but I want to verify the quotes. Okay, um, and the quality. And, and the quality, yeah. absolutely. Jurens yeah. is also free freight and free freight. Yeah. Okay. They are the only ones providing free freight. Oh, yeah. For your oh, quotes. Oh, for yeah. the general yeah. quotes. Right. Yeah, all of, the, the all of that. Yeah. Okay. So I have another question. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't look in a consultant in Carroll County because you have some good design of people too in Carroll County, like the Wolf Borough. You know, our consultants, as sort of I mentioned before, uh, we look for people. Uh, we, as architects, we specialize only in senior housing. We do nursing homes and, um, and hospice care and independent living and assisted living. So we work with consultants that we know. We, well, we like to work with consultants that we know that we've used before, have a proven track record, are familiar with the project, these types of projects because there are very, very specific um, design criteria that we look at for these types of projects. So um, we are always open. When we start a project, we are always open at looking at any consultants that an owner might recommend to us. Um, but we also will bring our own consultants to the table. Yeah, I understand that, but I think most of the things should be go for bid out in Carroll County. If 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 I, we can't find it and we don't have it, then we should go in the state of New Hampshire. In, in, a, in the case of the furnishings, I don't think anybody in Carroll County is big enough to supply that amount of furniture for a building our size. I understand the body of furnishing. We get it from Strata. That is where they okay. Yeah, actually, I guess. the furniture I actually comes from North Carolina, right? Well, it, yeah, and, and this furniture isn't furniture that you go to your local store. furniture store and purchase. Yeah, I understand about the furniture, but what my point is, we could hire a consultant right here from Carroll County. Yeah, that was um, that boat sailed like two years ago, unfortunately. Yeah. And I still like to see the numbers, how much she's making. Well, you have all of her extra fees here, and then her fee is part of our... And how is that paid again? How is that being paid again? The... Where's her money? Yeah, her fee? Her fee... Yeah, how does it get paid? Yeah. It's part of my So, fee. it goes... Yeah. So, and then her, her fees for purchasing items, where she actually physically purchases these items, um, that is paid from the construction budget. These line items, they, all of these things are in the soft costs, or actually in the construction budget costs mm -hmm. in Randy's budget. So she can be to you, and if she purchases, stay to the construction budget. So that's why she put everywhere that that for shared up, that is the fee, and the bottom line, she get it too. Uh, no, and I actually, I don't understand what you're saying. She's sort of asking for it twice. Um, all of these, the, this back up here has several different parts to it. Um, so there is um, accessories and um, artwork accessories and window treatment soft costs. And then there are, she also defines the um, client purchased items. 
purchase accessories. So um, while you're seeing many totals, there's not a grand total where she's adding it again. Oh, I have it here. It said the processing fee of uh, a total, and she put $15,000 again. So maybe you have another paper or something. Pages out. It's, uh, it doesn't say a page actually. <coughs> Which but section? That is what you give to me. <coughs> it said subtotal. And then it said again processing fee. Right, there's, there's several subtotals. Um, there's one at the very end, and that's the purchased accessories. That's $2,467,000. And I believe those are the items that Sandy has indicated that they will be purchasing. So she won't get anything. That money won't apply. Right. I think instead of holding up everybody here, I think if, Ashley, if you get some pointed questions that maybe the two of you ought to sit down sure. and take a look at it after, how long are you going to be here today? Um, I have an 11 o'clock signage meeting, um, so um, you know, I imagine that's going to go to 12, 12, 30. But, okay. And then I'm here actually until then, yeah, on site at 10. Okay. At 10, like so. But I'll be around, I can be around. This. Okay. All right, I have why don't some you questions two for get you. together and we try okay. to settle that and get it straightened out. Great. I think it's just a misunderstanding as to what's in that, where it is, what we're taking out. So if you can get that squared away, that'd be great. Damon, okay. you had a question. Yeah, I just had a couple of things. Um, first one, I, I think the consultant, uh, just in general, doesn't she get paid to, um, the amount she gets paid depends on how much stuff she buys and, and directs. So if she buys 30 items, the cost would be different if she gets a 10% fee on each item. Suppose if she bought 50 items, um, is that maybe an easier way to look at it? I, you know, it's just it's related to the overall cost, not how many items she right. purchases. That's what just I'm the overall cost. Right. But we've had a budget for those items all along. Okay. So you know, she's within her budget. Okay. Actually, no, I take that back. We are well below budget. It depends on how much she buys and how much each thing. She gets a percentage on the things that she buys. Right. On the so total. Uh, so yes. that's why we can't go with the total list right now. No, no, no. That's all, all okay. been spelled out. Okay. She has. She knows exactly what's being, what she okay. has, you know, outlined to be purchased. Okay. And we we know the totals. Okay. Yeah. And then the other question is, it might be interesting to do a story at some point about how the nursing home needs art and the maybe getting input from local photographers and what kind of art would be appropriate and what how you go about choosing art for particularly for a nursing home as opposed to a you know something else um, yeah, that, that so i don't know it if would it's have too to be early or appropriate to the, to the project right. right that's what i'm saying like well you know how is art different for a nursing home as opposed to a museum or a, your house or something exactly. like that yeah. that's that's where your that's consultant where would consultant comes in answer those questions and you guys are going to decide on hiring a consultant maybe next week or, or, or is a consultant in the project right now or out of the project? Um, in the project. In the project. Okay. It's our, always been budgeted to me. Okay. What we're going to be voting on is the furniture. Okay. Not the consultant. Okay. So like when, any, will, when will be a good time to do that story? Is that, is that, would that have to be done in the next couple of weeks? Or? I think we should probably get rolling on determining exactly um, what's going to happen. And I think, Maureen, we need to meet with consultant and so I think you know maybe after the next couple of weeks okay that would be great okay, okay. are we good <laughs> thank you Maria for, uh, sure. for being here and explaining in a little more detail so that Asher is getting caught up to date on what was done in the past that she's not familiar with yes we all have a lot of history so yeah. <laughs> I right. know it's hard to get up to speed in a few weeks Okay, well, let's move on. Thank you very much. Will, be, you got something real quick? Yeah. Uh, okay. Just a couple, uh, one or two things. Morning. Morning. <clears throat> um, things that have been going on at the farm is uh, we're working on the the new truck that we purchased a few years ago. We're redesigning the 
back tailgate. We've talked about that. Um, we have the other shop working on some other, some bad and some other things. Um, we're getting ready to hopefully start getting our campfire wood bagging processing going here soon. Uh, we've sold out the majority of our hay that we had left, our feed hay. We have very little minimal left, about 150 bales roughly. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time last week shoveling off the roof of the nursing home and cleaning up over there. We still have a little bit more to clean up. Um, we've been going to some classes for our water um, certificates. And we went to one yesterday that's kind of uh, interesting. We learned that there's a new lead and copper notifications which will affect smaller um, smaller water departments like ourselves. And nothing to be concerned, it's nothing that uh, you have to worry about. It's just another step of, of paperwork, basically. Yeah. Um, but it was good for us to be able to go and, and learn that that's going to be required and enforced. Um, something newly enforced <coughs> by the DES. Okay. So it was good to learn about that. And the other last thing I had for the commissioners, um, Russ Norton from the Cooperative Extension, I've been talking with him, working on stuff. Uh, as he comes across things, um, he's, he's contacted me with stuff. And, one of the things was is there's a need for a location for the Department of Weights and Measures to come, um, say local farmers have different scales that they want to weigh their vegetables on, things like right. that. They would come to calibrate, to calibrate them. Um, they asked, he asked if, the, if we could provide a location to do such a thing and I got the details on it with them and I said, yeah, I think we could, we could offer that. So he talked with them, we just wanted to run it by the commission that uh, they'd like to do that on April 19th. It'll be an evening from like four to six. Um, I have to have a barn for them with electricity so that they can plug in some of the materials and maybe a few extensions. And so what do they do? They bring in other scales from other areas around here or are we looking at our scale? No, uh, they, they bring in, what they do, from my understanding, is they come in and say, you want to weigh your blueberries or whatever, yeah. you could bring your scale here okay, that's and they'll help calibrate it. Okay. Um, it's not got anything to do with our scale, our particular scales. It's just offering a okay. location for the community to, to come and be able to, to have sure. that done. Um, so if that was you know, any problem, yeah. problem at all. Yeah. Problem with that? Yeah. So, okay. um, that's pretty much all I, all I have. Okay. Okay, I think Sa Sandy has mentioned to me that the farm crew is doing a real good job in getting rid of the snow, removing the snow from the uh, nursing home in the parking lot. So I appreciate the effort that you, you and your farm crew have put into removing the snow. Okay, thank you. Okay? Thank you. Uh, you get the word on the change in the date, maybe, of the farm field day? The 30th. Apparently Stratum Fair is on the 23rd. Right. I got the email. Um, okay. So we need to come up with another date, apparently. Or go to the 30th of July? Yeah, we had two That's days that we said at the meeting was either okay. the 24th or the 30th. Okay. And being that was run at the 24th, I think they were going to default to the they, 30th. They decided okay. on the 30th. Okay. Right okay. Thank you, Will. Thank you. Robbie, can we put you off? Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Okay, Don. Don Litchko is um, a volunteer. We appreciate very much his interest in volunteering to help us move from the old facility to the new facility. Uh, he can talk about perhaps a meeting that he's had already with the uh, nursing home staff. And uh, again, Don, we appreciate what you've been doing. And we'll, and we'll continue to do, I hope.